Well, I'm grateful to have lost this bet. I thought for sure it was going to be a lean and mean day, over 200 pounds today. When the numbers say 200 plus, that means no eating for Mr. Gurr. Uh, I made another giant squash yesterday. Cooked it up in the oven, baked it, ate the whole dang thing. That thing weighed a ton. Oh, I like squash. Oh, oh man, I don't like this. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> All right. No surprise. What am I grateful for today? Well, we had Moby Dick two days ago, so I was grateful for reading. Yesterday, I was grateful for writing every day. Today, I'm grateful for arithmetic, the three R's of education, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and writing and arithmetic both don't start with R. So, ironically, spelling is not my strongest point. There's kind of a private joke there that I hope comes to fruition soon, but we'll see. We'll see about the spelling thing. My wife is an amazing speller. It comes with being an editor and an author and a writer, but I'm not the best writer in the universe. Not the best uh, speller in the universe. Math and science are like in my wheelhouse. Those are the things that I have my name up on plaques for. That's the thing that I won awards for. That's the one thing that I got a free ride to college on. So, yeah, my mathematical mind and my scientific mind are definitely one of a kind. So, I am working on a self-imposed math algorithm today that would make most people want to climb back in bed, pull the covers over their head, and wish for the apocalypse. It's a really, really complicated algorithm for generating loot in my Godmaker game. So I'm excited to get on that. My friend that just went back to Phoenix, Arizona, where things make sense and there's no daylight savings time, is very excited about the prospect. He wants me to design the algorithm so he can implement it into the AI of our game. So I got to get to work. But I do have a lot of work to do today on Scootergate, too, because it's Monday. And Monday is Olive Branch Day. I will probably extend another Olive Branch to the reporter. Oh, excuse me. Not the court. I'm thinking about the court reporter in my mind. The attorney of the state that's uh, scheduled to take me to the cleaners on January the 15th of the year 2025. And I also am going to include in that email to the director of the monastery because I know I talked about the challenge of the six. But my guess is, uh, you know, if you can get the director of the monastery... Mother Superior, you know, if you can get Mother Superior to say, you know what, we need Mr. Gurr. His brilliance is a light that will take us to goodness and prosperity. Well, I guarantee everybody else will follow, but that's going to be a monumental challenge because... Uh, call it a gut feeling. Call it a hunch. So, all right, so going back to my algorithm, I am working on a firm but fair scaling to determine how good the loot is in Godmaker. Because, like, if you get items that are too powerful early on in the game it's going to ruin the game and if you never get any good items at all even in the late stages of the game it's not going to be fun and no one's ever going to play it again so you have to have it be random but weighted enough where people feel the game is fair a lot of people in the world say the game is rigged 
and they're not wrong. But you know what? Mathematicians are good at seeing the patterns and finding out ways to even the odds for everybody. Reading, writing, and writing wrongs. <laughs>